Hi everyone, it's Josie. I'm here today for story time. Thank you so much for joining me. Can you see me okay? I hope so. Get yourself into a nice cozy spot because we've got two books today and a song. So it will be a little bit longer than the last one. Let's start off by saying hi to everybody who's here today. Can you give me a big wave? Hello. Hi. Thank you for joining me. Hi. Hello and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello and how are you? How are you today? How are you feeling today? Are you happy at home? Reading lots of books? Staying warm? It's very cold here in Adelaide today. I wonder how the weather is where you are. Well, remember on Wednesday I talked about uh, the International Day of Dance and we looked at Josephine Wants to Dance. And I promised you another book on dance today. So today is, is a different kind of dance called hip hop. Have you heard of hip hop before? Maybe you've even tried it. I know that there's some great dance classes available in West Torrens, which we really look forward to doing after we can get back outside again. So today's one is actually by two fabulous people from South Australia, so locals and it's called The Hip Hop Barn by Phil Cummings and Mandy Foote. Let's have a look and see what happens. Are you ready? So in Hip Hop Barn, there's a lot of animals that get up to some mischief. Can you see the pictures okay? You can? I might just shuffle over a little bit. Right, there we are. The farmer was tired at the end of the day, so he went to bed and snored away. Can you snore? Do you snore when you sleep? Let's try. Good snoring. But not the animals. They took a chance to have some fun and have a dance. Oh, oh, what's this? They've got a big cassette player. Let's see. <laughs> Look at the cow. The cows all kick their hoofs in time. Oh, cute. Clickety clack. Can you click your feet together? Clickety clack. The sheep all danced in a crooked line. Oh, it's like they're tap dancing. Tippity tap, tippity tap up on their toes. You're welcome to do some dancing too if you like. The chicken's feathers tickled the crowd. Flippity flap, flap your wings. Flippity flap. <laughs> what a fun dance. The ducks were wild. The ducks were loud. Can you quack like a duck? Quack, quack, quackity, quack. Quackity, quack. <laughs> Look at his cool moves. <laughs> the pigs all sloshed and slid about. Slippity slop, slippity slop. Of course they're in the mud. And then, uh-oh, suddenly, click, clack. Can you read this big word? Stop! Can you guess who it is? They all stopped dancing and turned their heads. Go to sleep! The farmer said, boy, he looks cross. Look at his face. Hip, hop, everyone into the hay. No more dancing here today. Shh. 
you think they went to bed? They look like they're in bed, but guess what? There's something sneaky under here. <laughs> Can you see? I think maybe they went back to dancing again. What do you think? <laughs> Naughty animals. So this one, The Hip Hop Bum by Phil Cummings and Mandy Foote. It's a brand new book. Must have. Don't forget to place it on hold at the library so you too can borrow it and have a look at these beautiful first drawings of Mandy's. These are her first illustrations when she was putting the book together. Beautiful. Well, I feel inspired for a, to do a little song. How about yourself? Would you like to join me for a little bit, bit of a farmer song which has some animals in it? Can you guess which one it is? Did you guess Old MacDonald? Excellent, you're right. This is actually Farmer George. Have you ever met Farmer George? Farmer George has some great books that you can get from the library too, all about life on a farm. So I recommend you put those ones on hold too, Farmer George. But today he's going to be Old MacDonald for us. He's going to do some acting. All right, are you ready? Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a... Hmm, what did he have in our book? Let's have a look. Oh, a pig. Let's do the pig. On that farm he had a pig. Here he comes. This is my library pig. Sometimes he comes out at story time in the library. Come on, go, go, go. He had a pig. E-I-E-I-O. Can you make the pig noise? With a oink, oink here. Oink, oink, there, here and oink, there and oink, everywhere and oink, oink. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. I wonder what else we could have on the farm. There was something dancing in a line in the book. Do you remember? Did you guess sheep? Yeah, you're right. So we'll have our sheep. Ready? Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a sheep, E-I-E-I-O. With a bar bar here, and a bar bar there, here a bar, there a bar, everywhere a bar bar. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Well, what else can he have on his farm? Hmm. Oh, I know. He could have a horse. Everybody likes a horse, don't they? <laughs> Me! Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a horse, E-I-E-I-O. With a nay-nay here, nay-nay there, here a nay, there a nay, everywhere a nay-nay. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Thank you for joining in with me. I wonder what else you could have on your old McDonald's farm at home. Lots of fun things to think about there. Now, our last book today is ta -da! called Baby Dance. Now this one I wanted to celebrate with you because it's from a very special place called Raising Literacy Australia. Now Raising Literacy Australia are just like us. They really care about you learning all about language and reading and having a great time with books. So this one's called Baby Dance and also by two locals called Katrina German and Doris Chang. <laughs> now this one is a really great one to get you moving so please you're welcome to jump up and down, roll all around, match the book. I'd love you to move around. Ready? We've got a little wombat here. Baby hears and baby beat. Baby steps, baby feet. You could do little baby steps. Baby nods, baby grins. Look at these beautiful yellow cockatoos. Wow, 
gorgeous. They're just nodding their heads. Ah, next we have a little roly-poly echidna. Baby claps, baby spins. I wonder if you could spin. That would be some cool dancing, wouldn't it? Can you spin on your back? Oh, I think we're going to do some hopping now. We've got some a little hopping mouse. Baby bops, baby grooves. Can you show me your grooves? Baby shakes, baby moves. What's your special move? Do you have a special move? Baby crawls, baby hides. Tuck up in a ball, nice and tight. Baby rolls, baby slides. Baby sits, baby sways. You could pretend you're up in a tree swaying in the breeze. Tricky page. Baby blinks. Baby waves. Baby yawns. Baby peeps. Baby sings. Look at the wombat. Do you think that the cockatoo is making a, a screechy noise? He doesn't like it. <laughs> Baby sleeps. This would be a nice little one to do. To just get all our wriggles out and then have a nice relax afterwards. Well, I hope you like that one. And that one's called Baby Dance. And also you can borrow these from the library by placing them on hold and using our click and collect if you're a hammer library user. Don't forget to do lots of dancing at home because the more we move and enjoy ourselves the happier we are. And if you'd like to read lots of books too, maybe you've got a book you'd like me to read. You could give me a recommendation. Why don't you leave me a comment and tell me a book that you'd love me to read for story time. I'd love to hear it. Well I think we're just about out of time so I'd like to say thank you for joining me. Don't forget to join me again on Storytime Wednesday and Friday. If you've missed one of my story times, you can catch them up again on Facebook or on the Hamra Library YouTube. And until next time, read lots of books, stay safe and stay well. Bye for now.